the choices we lose. It is sometimes easy for us to dismiss such a tired old phrase, we all have a choice about what we want to do with our lives. We don't easily realize is that much of the decisions we make in life can at times be dictated by expectations from the outside. These expectations are not as evident as one would think they are. They can be subtle. However, being subtle doesn't make them unimportant. Sometimes our life's decisions turn out to be life-changing. Questions like, who do you marry? Or, do you get married at all? What job or college course do you take? Should you leave an unhappy marriage? Should you let everyone know what your true gender preference is? As a Chinese Filipino, I know the expectations that come with my ethnicity. One is supposed to be married, settle down, and seeing kids start their own careers at the age I am in. I am reminded of a man in history, a philosopher named John Paul Sartre, who lived a lifestyle that many would, in his time, find to be a sad and futile one at best, and a crazy one at worst. He lived purposely different from how others in his time did, and showed that meaningfulness can be found in his choices too. Although there is no crime for people to be different, there are pressures that come from the voices that stay with us, even when those whose voices we still hear are no longer around. Many of us choose to live lives that have been chosen for us by others, whether they be around or not. Don't get me wrong though, I am not saying that those that do follow expectations are always or often unhappy. I can certainly find a lot of reasons to be content with following the norms of society. Even as this is a given, I would hasten to add that much of the problems that relate to depression and anxiety are rooted in living lives that have lost the capacity to choose. What choice do I have is often the refrain. Much of this is caused by shame and guilt. Not living the life that is expected of one is associated with abnormality or being a misfit. Mr. Sartre lived a life that many of his time would consider immoral and even abnormal. That label though did not stop him from becoming one of the greatest thinkers of his time and even to this day. His books and words still ring true to our lives in the 21st century. And all these ideas have come from someone who was born more than a hundred years ago. Don't get me wrong though, I am not here advocating for you to live an immoral life. However, I am encouraging you that even though your life doesn't match what most people expect, you should not see yourself as any less than others. Take heart. You can still choose not to lose who you are and find meaning and substance to your existence. You can still opt to live your choices and live them courageously as some of those who have done so in the past. You are not alone. Once again, this is Nathan Chua, your personality and relationship development coach. I am inviting you again to visit my website www.onelifeonly.net and have a happy day.